And this is by far the worst area when you Hey, I'm Lee Weiland from Pacific Rim Athletics and welcome to training. If you correct the five mistakes I'm gonna show you in this video, you'll advance into your training tremendously. Just follow this step-by-step -step outline. And obviously I save the best for last, so stay until the end. And subscribe so you don't miss any of the trainings all of our top students receive. Number one, worst mistake sounds simple. It's form. Well, even worse, it's not knowing what it should be. If you don't, you might end up stuck, frustrated, or injured. Now, there's no such thing as perfect, so you can relax. We need not worry about the gymnastics form Nazis, nor be led astray by million plus subscriber influencers who are great at gaining attention, but can't touch their toes. But not knowing how to construct the proper form can sometimes be flat out dangerous. I'll quickly give you an outline that you can apply to any and every area of your training. Whether it's for handstand, free running, tumbling, aerial arts, or other elements of power batics, or even weightlifting, or any other sport for that matter. But don't mistake videos like this for coaching with insurance, safety, and progressions. There's hollow, arch, or hollow back, straight, straddle, pike, and tuck. Then there's internal and external rotation of both the shoulders and the legs. And finally, there's the angle of the legs and arms. Take a snatch as an example. This is the same alignment as an inverted pike hollow back handstand. Open shoulders, arched, hollowed back, tucked, straddled legs, and feet will be neutral. A baseball pitch is the same as a bent arm hollow back as well. You see, knowing the outline of shapes will help you fine tune technique in any discipline. And if you really want to clean it up, then we can talk about feet and hands being pointed or flexed, straight or bent, but all of that is beyond the scope of this video. Number two and very annoying is cross legs or folded arms on pull-ups, dips, ab work, and other elements of training. Just stop. It pains me to see people with droves of followers doing silly things like this. It creates lopsided movement because the load of the kinetic chain travels down whichever leg is the support in the cross position. And it fails to recruit core. And it kills alignment. Go back and review the first mistake. For example, and you could try this right now, do your pull-ups in a pike position. See how that changes things? Your core will be activated because it's being recruited to establish alignment. And your alignment will actually be correct. Number three is flexibility. So frustrating to see fitness gurus who can't touch their toes with straight legs. Basic are things like touching your toes, splits past 120 degrees, even full splits and bridges. And you know what? These actually require tremendous strength. You can watch our video on the Jefferson curl as an example, or see this example of a leg iron cross. Without flexibility, you're just gonna be stuck and I don't want that to be the case. Sure, a person can gain a planche or a front lever without flexibility. Even throw the weights around, hit the heavy bag, or walk the golf course. But when it comes to going beyond one dimensional movement, it's gonna require flexibility. And that also for lifelong health. I'm telling you, if you get your flexibility dialed in, you'll be in a whole new game. Number four, worst training mistake is twofold. Not going outside your comfort zone and using cookie cutter methodologies. I swear, every fitness program is the same. They all are 47, 97 or 297 dollars. You'll see the group of three people with the headsets and a triangle formation with huge smiles selling you the same recycled aerobics from the 1980s. Or the one stud online telling everyone some novel tactic they think that they came up with. What ends up happening is that you pay for it, and I don't mean with money, but maybe that too. 80% or more of the population stays on this superficial level. And we've looked up the statistics. 80% of people have back pain, 80% of people are overweight, and cookie cutter programs keep people in that bracket. You have to continually progress. Not just adding weights on the bar, or doing a video series, or doing a class, but movement, flexibility, strength, in new ranges of motion, skill. This is where the magic of training is. It never gets boring. It never gets redundant because you're always working on something new for your body and mind. And as I've stated in other videos, there's really nothing new under the sun. Just good old fashioned coaching by experts, of course, and a positive community. For example, we only hire doctorate physical therapists and train our coaches in-house. Number five is not subscribing to the channel. No, just kidding. 
I'd rather you, honestly, click to go watch all the student breakthrough stories right on the other side and sign up for a complimentary coaching session. But seriously, number five is to use progressive training. You can use this principle on a macro level and on a micro level. Micro would be a progression change within a given training session. Macro would be across several weeks, months, or years. An example of micro is say you're training core. Perhaps you start with hollow rocks, then regress to V-ups, then regress to tuck-ups. But you add additional volume for each as they become progressively easier. Or say you're tumbling. Start with hard ground when the legs are fresh for extra conditioning. Then move to a soft surface like a spring floor or grass. Then go to the trampoline. On a macro level, take a handstand as an example. You can start with a frog stand, steady state for four weeks. Then go to knees on top of elbows for four weeks. Then handstand walks, etc., etc. And then you're not just doing the wad at the box gym or following some dude's online video series, but you're really building body mastery. A couple reminders for you. If you want to dive deeper, you can schedule a complimentary coaching session and even get a free level assessment. Yes, it's free, but you do have to qualify. And if you're not ready for that, then keep watching the videos I've created for you that are gonna help you and they're coming up on the screen. They should be in just a second. Either way, I look forward to everything you're gonna achieve and seeing you in the next video or hopefully in training soon.